This video explains how to change the bin width of a ggplot2 histogram using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I'll show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains only the column X and 1000 observations. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And then in the next step, we can draw our histogram using the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geom histogram. And in this case, I'm also specifying the color of the histogram to be equal to this hex color code. So after running lines eight and nine of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new histogram has been created. And as you can see, the width of the histogram bars is corresponding to the default specifications of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to increase the bin width of these histogram bars, we can use the bin width argument within the geo histogram function, as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So the code in lines 11 and 12 is basically the same as in the previous lines of code. However, this time I'm setting the bin width argument to be equal to one. So after running lines 11 to 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our histogram has been changed. And now the bin width of each histogram bar is equal to one. We can also decrease the bin width of the histogram bars by using the bin width argument, as you can see in lines 15 to 17 of the code. So in this case, I'm setting the bin width to be equal to 0 0.1. So after running lines 15 to 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our histogram is updated once again. And this time we have used a smaller bin width than in the default settings of the ggplot2 package. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.